my my music brains user was created in June of 2006. That's 10 years ago now. Mm-hmm. Um, and the project is about 16 years old. Um, so it had been around for a few years before I came in, but I've still been around for uh, for quite a while. I think I think I actually came to Music Brains through Last FM. Uh, for those who don't know, Last FM is a service which we'll probably also talk more more about in a bit, which allows you to scrabble the music you are listening to to the Last FM website. And then you can go and see which artist is exactly that, that is. There you can see which artist you've listened to and you can see which albums or which, which songs you've listened to the most. And you can then couple that data up with other services like Music Brains to make a lot of different. And for, for some people who are geeky enough about the data, you can get some pretty interesting uh statistics statistics out of that um the reason i then went from from last fm is the two music brains is that last fm used to use music brains heavily in cleaning up all the data they got in their submissions mm. so the way to probably clean up last fm data was actually to make sure the proper data existed in music brains and to make sure that when you scrubble data from your whatever music player you were using, that it would have the music brains IDs embedded in the uh, in the tags. And then those IDs would, uh, those music brains IDs uh, identifiers would be sent in the packets, in the Scrabble package uh, you would send to Last.fm. So Last.fm would know right from the get go that this is the song in music brains that you're listening to. So it wouldn't just be, um, uh, some song like it wouldn't just be Billie Jean by Michael Jackson but it would be the Billie Jean song on this specific album by Michael Jackson by this specific Michael Jackson and not one of the other people called Michael Jackson mm. uh, yeah and so, so and so how did how how did so how did you go from just being a user of the service to actually volunteering and assisting then well, that was uh, that was pretty much uh, straight away. Um, like the, my need for for being on Music Brains was for cleaning up and adding data. Uh, at the time, I've been playing folk music for about 15 years or something like that myself, and Danish folk music was not very well represented on Music Brains 10 years ago. Uh, so obviously, my main focus at the time was just getting a lot of data about Danish folk music into music brains. So Last FM would pick it up probably. Uh, so I I got started pretty much straight away in contrib- contributing, adding data to the to the database. Okay. And then so so let's back up a step and, and say, well how is how is Music Brains? How was Music Brains actually identifying the tracks? Was it looking at uh, at the relative length of the of the CD CD tracks that are next to each other, or or is it actually listening to the sounds within a song? Right, it can do both. Uh, what what you would uh, most commonly use is the tagger program called Music Brains Picard, uh, which used to be called Music Brains Tagger. I think it was the original name many mm-hmm. years ago. It's been Music Brains Picard for most of my time with the project. Um, exactly. Um, and Music Brains Picard will use, either it will use the tag, uh, the data that's already in the file, which includes like the, um, the track lengths, or if, if you already have some tag data in it, like the name of the album, the name of the track, the name of the artist, then it will take those data and search on the Music Brains website. And if it finds a match that's close enough, then um, then it will return the album into Picard and then you can tell Picard to, to tag that. But there's also another way you can use, you can do this. 
which a long time ago it was called TRM IDs, which didn't last long because they were pretty horrible. Uh, which, but basically, it was a it was a way of acoustically uh, fingerprinting the specific uh, acoustically fingerprinting a song. So, like, you would take my fingerprint, and then you would be able to identify that as me. The same thing you can do with a piece of uh, audio, which in this case is music, uh, and say this does this kind of shift, and then you can do some magic, and then you will have a fingerprint. The TRM IDs were the first incarnation of that, which was, I believe that was a closed source technology, which was then replaced by PU IDs, which were another proprietary closed source technology. <laughs> um, and then the company that was like, or that was behind the PU IDs, they got bought up by some some company I can't remember, and the, basically the PUID service uh, pretty much got discontinued. So one of the um, Music Brains community members, uh, Luke's, uh, oh, what's his real name? Oh, jeez. Anyway, he uh, he pro- he um, he invented uh, Acoust ID which is a completely open source uh, acoustic fingerprinting technology. The website, uh, the, the algorithm that Acoust ID uses for acoustically fingerprinting audio files is uh, open source. The hmm. uh, fingerprinting software itself is open source. The database running on the Acoust ID servers is open source, the acoustid.org website. It's open source, um, so it's it's uh, it's an all open source endeavor, which we're really happy about that we're finally able this third iteration of acoustic ideas is um, is completely open, so we don't have to worry about another window shutting down on us, and we have to we have to be getting left out in the cold again. Um, it also means that. Unlike the TRM IDs were directly in the Music Brains database, the PU IDs were entered directly in the Music Brains database, but Acoust IDs is actually on another server. So you use the Music Brains, uh, Music Brains idea from Music Brains, then you can look that Music Brains idea up in the Acoust idea database mm. to see whether it matches, or you can look up the acoustic fingerprint in the Acoust Ideas database, and then you can get a Music Brains idea out of the Acoust idea database, and then look that up in in Music Brains. And I would love to tell you a lot about how Acoust idea works, but it's beyond me. It's uh, it's it's not my area of expertise. For me, it's all it's all magic. <laughs> 